What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today I'm coming in with a story time about the time that my friend got robbed and I was there. Now this was quite a while ago and it was kind of scary, you know, it was not a hoot, not a holler, not a situation you would want to be involved in. So anyways, drop a like if you enjoy this video, and also, I want to mention real quick, I am uploading content to my second channel now. That means I'm going to be doing PC game let's plays on all sorts of games, I'm going to be doing a Starbound series, a Borderlands series, a Fallout series, and I'm really excited to bring a bunch of content to that channel so hope you guys will subscribe to that and check that out it will be in the top of the description if you guys would just go subscribe to that channel all of you fuck that sub button up let's see if we can get it to like three four hundred subs that would be really awesome and i would love you guys forever so please go subs to that channel and i hope you enjoy the content i put on there it will be daily content alongside this channel's daily double uploads so that's just more goblin you know more of your boy right here more content but anyways Drop a like if you enjoy the grind, and let's dive into it. So, my friend got robbed. Now, this was, I want to say, like, five, six months ago. Uh, definitely, like, yeah, five months ago. It was around spring break, I'm pretty sure. And there was this girl who we are going to call Sally. Now, Sally was a good friend of mine and also incredibly attractive. So, you know, I was just going to go over to her house. She had a couple people over, and I was just going to smoke some dope with her, chill with her. And one of my buddies hit me up, and we're going to call this guy Andy. Now, Andy is a good buddy of mine at the time, really close friend friend of mine at the time of this happening and we'd been chilling a lot so he hit me up and he was like hey you know what you want and I'm like oh I'm over at Sally's house he's like oh dude you should let me come over and I'm like all right let me ask her so I asked Sally I'm like hey can my friend Andy come over you know it's just him and like a couple other people he's a cool guy she's like oh yeah no problem because her mom was out of town for like a week straight so she had like the house to herself she was letting us just blow dope and it was a great time she was just a great girl let me tell you so Eventually, Andy gets to my house, and he's with quite a few people that I've never seen before, like some sketchy figures, like I'm talking like just you can tell that these dudes were probably up to no good it's not even like profiling or anything it's just you you can look at someone and tell when they're on some shit i was looking at these motherfuckers and i could tell they were on some shit let me tell you these dudes were sagging they're like fake ass robins all the way down dude they had fake ass ferragamo belts and they were just it was ridiculous dude it was really really absurd i could tell these guys were stupid but my buddy andy was with him so i trusted that you know maybe he was hanging out with reliable people to Turned out he wasn't. So I shook up with Andy, shook up with them, introduced myself. They're like, oh, what's good? My name's whatever. I was like, oh, all right, well, fuck you, whatever. Okay, nice to meet you. And we're all chilling there for a little bit. And Andy is a big drug guy. Andy is super into all sorts of drugs. He sells them. He does them. He's just into that stuff. So he busts out a fuck ton of hulks. Those are Xanax, for those of you who don't know. And the dude busts out a bag of like 40 of these bitches. Now, typically hulks, you can sell them anywhere from like 5 to $7 a pop around here. Now, that's not everywhere. It's just around here, local prices. So like 40 of them, that's a decent price if you were to sell them individually. That's a good little bit of money right there if you were to really put the effort in. But he pulls those out and he asks if anyone needs some bars. Now, these kids, immediately everyone swarms them. Some kid's like, who got bars? I'll buy them all right now because he overheard them. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. This shit's about to get hectic. So he was like, all right, yeah, I'll serve you guys what you need. And, I, you know, I didn't really think anything was up because I trusted that if he was hanging out with these people, then, you know, they wouldn't, like, do anything sketchy. Like, they were his friends. So eventually they were like yeah let's do this in the bathroom so everyone sees the deal and shit and he's like okay now this is where this guy's fucking tweaking dude why would you ever do this bring all your drugs into a bathroom and let all these dudes shut the door and like you're not really that like close with any of them so he goes in the bathroom and i'm just chilling there with sally and we're just smoking a blunt talking and shit and all of a sudden i hear a loud ass bang and the door like slams like he, he literally got like slammed into the door and it was all shut but i, I could hear what was happening he yelled and he's like what the fuck chill out and then like i heard a couple loud ass bangs and then some dude he was like give me your shit and then like a bunch of shit went down really fast, and the door was banging, and Sally was, like, screaming at this point, and she ran up to the door trying to get him out. I walked up. I was like, oh, shit, because I, did, I didn't have no weapons on me. I wasn't strapped to any of that. I, I was lacking, dude. I was tweaking, so, you know, I was like, fuck, dude. I really did not expect this to happen tonight. I did not come prepared, so... I'm sitting here like, oh shit, and they just open the door, the dudes just run out the door immediately, my friend comes out after, big ass welt on his head, and he's like, what the fuck, and he like yells it, and they all just get in their cars and skirt off, like, all these kids, and he was gonna chase them out, and I was like, bro, just stay here, like, don't chase those kids out, you're just gonna get jumped, dude, they outnumber us, like, 
fucking 7 to 1, dude. Like, hell no, not happening. So, this dude's got a big-ass welt on his head, and they fucking pistol-whipped him, dude. They took his shit and ran his pockets and pistol-whipped him in the bathroom and then just ran off. And that was fucked up. So, and it was all at this girl's house. So, I apologize profusely to Sally, dude. I felt so bad, like, that I invited this guy over and he brought these people over. I actually felt so guilty. Like, I apologized to this girl, like, for five days straight, maybe, like, 10 times a day, dude. Like, I kept texting her and I was like, if you ever need anything... I'll smoke you up forever. I got you. If you want to go out to eat, if you want to do anything, I got you. Just no shorty. I'm sorry. I got you. You're the best. I, I didn't mean for that to happen. She was like real nice about it. She was like, no, it's okay. And we're like completely cool now. Like she was never really mad at me at all. But my friend, he was like about to chase him out. And I was like, yo, you got to chill. And eventually, you know, I can't really go any further with this. I can't say what happened after. Let's just say that we we're even now. We're even now. Us and those guys. That's all I'm going to say. Me and my homie and those guys, we we settled it, Uh, you know, just not with words. We Just everything's even, okay? That's all I'm going to say. I can't say this on YouTube, even with the disclaimer. So, you know, just drop a like if you enjoyed the video. It was a hoot and a holler. I hope you guys check out my second channel as well and enjoy the Let's Plays and the daily content I will be putting on there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.